put a video up was like almost it was over a year ago, and that was when uh, Trish Stratus won the hardcore title for like a split second. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> oh, and also I also pulled up the Gilbert versus Shane McMahon fight. Oh shit! <laughs> I remember Gilbert. That dude was hype. <laughs> But, um, when, um, when is the next time we're going to see you on commentary, man? It's been, I don't know when uh, SML is supposed to come back or nothing, but, um, I know you're going to come back in commentary again. Well, um, I mean, it all depends on whatever they say, like, hey, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and pretty much, you're like, want to help out or not? And nine times out of ten, I'm like, okay, sure, but that one other time is probably because I'm, like, sick or something. I was actually I was yeah. actually this close to calling off for my commentary for the uh, Jeff Hardcore Invitational like last week because I, yeah I remember that was a nice one I like that that was funny as hell well I actually been like sick for like three weeks and I didn't understand why and uh, finally when I went to the uh, doctor last week and I found out what it is that I had and pretty much now I'm like on a super restrictive diet. I can't even have, I can't have bread, I can't have pizza, I can't have ice cream, can't have soda, can't have pasta. So can't go to Dennis. The only thing I can't eat are like vegetables, meat, and um, soft foods like uh, like Ativia and Dan Active, you know, those uh, the special type of yogurt. You're going to turn into Bill, Bill Cosby, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh yeah, and I do have that Jello, the sugar-free Jello. It <laughs> this week has sucked, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, um, give everybody your your, uh, your trademark phrase before I send this interview off, cause we we really talked about it, just about everything. Unless there's something else you want to talk about. I'm actually kind of disappointed of how the Capitals played on uh, Game One against the Rangers last night. I was at that. I was at that game last night, and I'm like, the rest of the Caps played so. They actually played very well, but then when it came to the goaltender, he pretty much left a couple of uh, stoppable shots get through him, and the Rangers won the game four to three. Capitals always finds a way to choke. <laughs> but hey, hey, hey! I mean, they're the best of. Uh, uh, sports team in my area right now. What do you have? The Redskins, the Wizards. Come on, they're they're oh, jokes. Man. I'm sorry. Even though I love I love them, I'm but from, they're jokes. Oh, it's cheap guys sports team. I live in Alabama. All we got is the Crimson Tide, and we got um we got a minor league team around here, but that's called they call them Montgomery Biscuits. Uh, Alabama. That, actually, one time when I was driving down to New Orleans, one time. There was this one patch of uh, I-85 or something like that, whatever the interstate is, between um, Birmingham to Mobile. At, at nighttime, I was driving through there, and I'm like, this is the most freaked out I've ever been. There's, like, no lights. There's, like, complete, total pitch darkness. It's, like, 12 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Before I finally pulled over at, at what do you call it, Opelika City. And I had to stay there for a minute. I'm like, I'm not driving any further. <laughs> yeah, it ain't that bad, actually. It just, it was, it was boring as hell, basically. It just, it's like any other place, but it's just like, like in, the, like in the place I live, I live in a small town called Red Level, Alabama. And there ain't nothing around here. Uh, they, they, when it gets dark, you got pitch dark, and we ain't got no cops, because this town can't afford cops. And we, the state troopers had to come in. But um, we got one school, and that's it. And all the stores are gone. They call it closed down because they couldn't make money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I find also find funny? Um, it's actually going to be almost three years since I managed to get out of the out of the military. I actually because I found a loophole, so I'm like, huh? And they asked me, "Do you want to stay in?" And I'm like, "No." And they're like dismissed, <laughs> and suddenly, about a month later, they gave me my paperwork. I mean, I have honorable discharge, so I still have the McGunry GI Bill to use, but I don't know where to use it. And with this economy, I'm not exactly can't afford to go go to a college right now. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm looked up, and I, I'm about to graduate from college in about a few weeks, actually. So, I get that through that, and I, I got my backup, I got, I just went to college for my backup plan to get, just in case, because I ain't going to want to DJ forever. That's what I do. I DJ, and I make beats for people. But, uh, I, that's, not, that's not what I'm going to do all my life. I, I got plan. I got I went and got me, uh, went and studied on um, computer technology, and I'm going to get into that when I get, because I'm about, I'm supposed to be 25 this year, so. Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned 25 uh, about two months ago. I'm turning 25 in August, so. That feels weird. It's like you're getting older, and, like, everybody's now, like, uh, like passing you by. It's not even funny. <laughs> It's like everybody's moving on, especially when I've been around the forums, right, on the SML forums around since 07 of August, and uh, um, there's been a lot of new people coming in there, they like 10, 11, 12, I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, is like, most people on the forums, they're like, they're, they're so young enough that they probably don't remember most of the things that we grew up and actually take for granted. I miss back in the day, man. I'm going to be honest with you. While I have you on here and I'm interviewing, there's a lot of shit back in the day that we couldn't... There was a lot of shit back in the day we could get away with. I got away with a lot more shit back then than I could right now. I know. I mean, like, honestly, if if you think back to, like, 15 years ago, would you ever like, think of the iPod for any reason whatsoever? I don't even thought about computer. Oh, remember those Apple IIs? They're like, oh, guess what? Uh, we're going to play Oregon Trail. And we're like, oh, go crazy. Like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I remember the black, the black, you know, the, um, remember the new, com the, when the computers first came out, they had them little, little retarded things. On, you had to go to school, and you, all, all it was is learning and stuff. <laughs> That's all I thought computers was for. I swear to God, I thought all computers was for just learning. And then whenever the internet came out, I got addicted as hell to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we've been we've been going out a little bit jabbering and everything else, and this review is gonna be long as hell. I swear to God, it's gonna be like 15, 16, 17 parts this show. <laughs> 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 and this is my longest review yet. So, um, the send everybody off. Say your trademark brain freeze, and then I can send this thing home. Oh, sweet holy harmony, that ain't right. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, but... No. Brain but freeze! Ah! And but like... Ah! <laughs> but anyway, this is me talking to JJ. I hope y'all enjoyed it. But uh, for next time, I'll focus you on call. I don't know who I'm going to interview. I don't know what show I'm going to interview. Y'all just have to stay tuned and check it out. Until next time, peace. And I'm out like a fat chicken dodgeball. <laughs> uh, oh, well. <laughs>